Hi everyone, I'm Janine Davis of James Davis & Associates. I believe everyone can succeed and be happy with right encouragement, inspiration, and motivation. I'm here today with another episode of Today on the Blog. Today on the Blog, I've got an article that's an interesting one. It's about being thrilled with life, everyday, ordinary life. I know we all get thrilled for birthdays and Christmas and 4th of July and Thanksgiving, but I'm here today to tell you get thrilled for everyday life. Even if you can't think of a reason to be thrilled, get thrilled anyway. I mean, I'm sitting here right now in my home office and I don't really have a big reason to be thrilled, but I'm alive and well, my husband's alive and well, he's faithful. My children are alive, they're well, they're happy, they're trying to drive me crazy. They don't realize if I get there, I'll stay. But these are normal things. These are everyday things, and they're actually a reason to be thrilled. I mean, I think about it. I have a friend who's going through a divorce, another one whose little boy keeps getting sick, and another one with a shaky marriage. All of these women, all of these friends of mine would love to have my simple every day, no excitement life. They'd be thrilled to have this. And so I encourage you to take time to look at your life and find the thrills. Seriously, sit down, get out a pen and paper and think, okay, what's going on in my life that's good? Do I have food? Do I have a place to live? Am I alive? Am I healthy? Hi, Megan. Haven't seen you in a long time. Nice to see you. We're talking today about being thrilled with everyday life. Take a moment to look at your life and decide you're going to be thrilled. Don't wait for a big holiday. Don't wait for a special occasion. Look at your life as it is now and be thrilled with it. You may not be where you want to be, but you're not where you could be. And just take time to be thrilled. I mean, have you ever been sitting around and you think, oh my gosh, my life is so boring. But think about the excitement that you could have in your life. You could be living in a tornado coming around, a hurricane, an earthquake. There could be a murderous rampage. There are all kinds of thrilling, exciting, heart-jostling things that could be going on. But if your life is just calm, regular, whew, where you can take a moment to breathe, literally take a moment to breathe, that's a thrilling thing. Celebrate your life. Celebrate what you have to offer. Celebrate where you are today. I think about some financial struggles that my family had a couple of years ago. I think about before that when I didn't have children and I wanted them so desperately. I think about all kinds of things in my past that were just troublesome. They were heart racing things. They kept life exciting and moving and jumping, but it, I, they weren't happy things. So now when I sit back and I've got four kids who drive me crazy and a husband who wakes me up in the middle of the night to play crazy songs on his phone, these are thrilling things. It's just everyday life. The dirty dishes, the laundry, the work I have to get done in my business, all of those things are ordinary life and they're actually thrilling. And sometimes we make mistakes when we think that our ordinary everyday lives are boring and mundane. They're not. It's a thrill to be alive. It's a thrill to be healthy. It's a thrill to be in control of your life. Those things are thrilling. We just aren't trained to think of them that way. And I'm encouraging you to sit back now to think about what's going on in your life, the things that other people dream about. Perhaps there are even things that you dreamed about happening at one point or another that were a thrill for you that you couldn't even dream of having, and now you have them. For some people, it's sobriety. I have friends who had a history of drinking for years, and now they're not drinking. They're struggling every day, this one particular friend, not to drink. But she doesn't, and I'm thrilled for her because everyday life, not having a drink is a thrill. I have other friends who used to have be very promiscuous, not because they wanted to be, but it was about abuse that happened to them in their past, and now they've overcome it. And now they're thrilled because they're just living a regular, normal life. That's a thrill, and I want everyone to start realizing that there's a thrill in your ordinary life. There is a thrill in being who you are, just plain, simple you. No fanciness, nothing. It's a thrill. And so look for those thrills in your life. For me, my thrill this morning, I got up, I put on red lipstick. That's my secret weapon to everything. 
If I can put on some red lipstick in the morning, it gives me a jump. It makes me feel better. Now, I'm matching my earrings and my necklace. Those of you who know me know that's a rare thing because I don't match often. It's just not who I am. It doesn't occur to me to match things. I just say, this is cute, this is cute, throw it together. That's thrilling to me to have those choices. And so now I'm encouraging you, find the thrills in your ordinary, everyday life. Let's just think about it. Did you get up this morning? Is there food in the house? Is there potential for food in the house? Do you have something to do? Do you have a hobby you enjoy? Do you have a home that you like, a home that you are creating for yourself or for your family? Whatever those situations are, those are thrilling. Everyday life is thrilling if you choose to see it that way. Our minds are strong, powerful things. And we can decide in our minds what we want life to be. So you can think in your mind, mm, I'm going to be sad today, or you can decide you're going to be happy today. It's all in your mind. Don't let circumstances decide who or what you're going to be. Don't let temporary problems in your life make a decision about what you are and who you are. Instead, you just wake up and just decide, you know what, doggone it, I'm going to be thrilled today. When I started on social media many years ago, I was at home alone with two tw twin daughters. They were about three months old when I discovered Facebook and other forms of social media. And I just started talking to myself on Mondays. I decided it's a magnificent Monday. I'm going to find something magnificent about the day. Tuesday was terrific Tuesday. There's something terrific going on somewhere in my world. I'm going to find it. Wednesdays were wonderful Wednesdays. I look for the wonderful thing. Thursday, thrilling Thursday. I'm going to find a thrill. Sometimes the thrill was the kids slept for two minutes. That was the thrill. Friday, fantastic Friday. I found something fantastic. Saturday was sensational Saturday. I looked for something sensational. Sunday, I figured that's my day of rest. I go to church. I get back in order for the new week. I called it Serene Sunday. And all of those things, those ideas are what helped me to get through life while my husband was at work and my older children were at school and I'm at home with two little twins who couldn't talk, who couldn't do anything except cry and nurse. I looked for those things. I found the magnificent, the thrilling, the wonderful, the terrific, the fantastic, the sensational, the serene. I found those things and I celebrated them every day and I talked myself into them until I found them. So I'd get up in the morning. It's Monday. I have to find the magnificent. And so I would look for something magnificent. Ooh, magnificent today is everybody got out of the house with no arguments. My thrill, we got to go out of the house and we went for a walk and it was great. Don't look for these big, giant, super califragilistic, expialidocious things. Find something every day in your life that's a thrill, that's fantastic. So today's Fantastic Friday. You know what my fantastic is going to be? I got my earrings and my necklace to match. That's fantastic for me. I don't have to do anything else in the world today except that for me to be fantastic and to feel happy. So I encourage you today, no matter who you are, what you're doing, celebrate the thrill that is your ordinary life. Start looking for every day something wonderful. It doesn't have to be big and grand. It can be something as small as I got matching shoes. It could be something as wonderful as I won the lottery and now I am $6 billion richer. doesn't matter what it is, but don't wait for a giant thing. Start looking for thrills and small things in your regular, ordinary life. Once you enjoy your life, just your life, once you find a way to enjoy it, you're going to be happier and you're going to be glad you did. Okay? Now, I'll see you next time for another episode of Today on the Vlog. Thanks, everybody. Bye.